I woke up in a dark room. I was lying on a cold, hard floor. I tried to move, but I was tied up. I could hear the sound of children crying in the distance. I knew I was in trouble. I had been kidnapped by Mr. Evil, the owner of a daycare center. He had taken me and a group of other children hostage. He was planning to use us in his evil experiments. I had to escape. I had to save the other children. I started to struggle against my bonds. They were tight. But I was able to loosen them a little bit. I heard a noise outside the door. I held my breath. The door opened and Mr. Evil walked in. He was a tall, thin man with a long, white beard. He was wearing a black cape and a top hat. He looked like a cartoon villain. Well, 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 he said. Look who's awake. I glared at him. Let me go. I said. I don't think so. He said. You're my prisoners now. We're not going to stay prisoners for long. I said. We're going to escape. You and what army? He asked. I don't need an army, I said. I just need my wits. Mr. Evil laughed. You're a brave one, he said. But you're also very foolish. You're never going to escape from here. We'll see about that, I said. I kept struggling against my bonds. They were starting to loosen a little bit more. What are you doing? Mr. Evil asked. You're just wasting your time. I'm not wasting my time, I said. I'm getting free. I finally managed to free my hands. I stood up and faced Mr. Evil. Now I said, let's go save the other children. Mr. Evil smiled. You're too late, he said. I've already started my experiments. I heard a scream from the other room. I knew Mr. Evil was telling the truth. I had to hurry. I ran out of the room and into the hallway. I saw a group of children huddled together in fear. Don't worry, I said. I'm here to save you. I led the children out of the daycare center. We ran as fast as we could. Mr. Evil came after us. He was chasing us in his big robot. You can't escape. He shouted. I'm going to get you. We ran out of the daycare center and into the street. Mr. Evil's robot was right behind us. I saw a car coming down the street. I waved my arms and shouted. The car stopped. Get in. I said to the children. The children got in the car. I got in the car too. The driver hit the gas and we sped away. Mr. Evil's robot chased us for a few blocks, but we were too fast for him. We eventually lost him. We were safe. We had escaped Mr. Evil's daycare center. I turned to the children. Are you okay? I asked. The children nodded. Thank you. They said. You saved us. I smiled. You're welcome. I said. Now, let's go home. We drove home, and the children were reunited with their families.